What's going on, everybody? My name is Jeff here, and today, guys, yet another awesome GTA 5 video talking about the patch 1.16 release date, as well as what Rockstar is going to be removing in GTA 5 Online the next few days. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to press the like button and be sure to subscribe for more daily top notch GTA 5 videos. So, what I want to do first is talk about the items that are going to be removed. The few items that are going to be removed are going to be the Sovereignty Motorcycle, the Liberator Monster Truck, the Musket, the Firework Launcher, all the new clothes, and all the new masks. If you have already purchased these items, they will stay in your inventory. Unfortunately, the Firework Launcher will not stay in your inventory, as well as the Musket, but if there is an event in the future that has that kind of theme where you can use a firework launcher i have really no clue maybe a holiday or something maybe a new dlc if you have already purchased it you'll get a full ammo and you'll obviously be able to purchase more and you'll be able to use it for that limited time so above the new clothes you can always have the new clothes after you purchase them that's kind of obvious sitting with a new mask the musket same deal as the firework launcher the Liberator Monster Truck, if you have already purchased it, you can still uh, call it from Pegasus at any time. As well as the motorcycle, you, as long as you have it in your garage and you purchased it, you'll be able to use it. So that is pretty much always for all the things that are going to be the limited time things that are going to be disappearing this week. I'll be getting into the specific date in a little bit further inside this video. But let's talk about the things that are going to be staying in GTA 5 Online. So the items that are going to be staying in GTA 5 Online are going to be the 7 new properties, the 17 new jobs, and the ability to ride the 2 amusement park rides. So that is pretty much all guys for the things that are going to be staying in GTA 5 Online. Online. Again, some people thought that the amusement park rides are only limited time, but again, they're just a little thing. Rockstar thought about it, and they're like, okay, we'll just let the people have the amusement park rides. Now, if you guys noticed, uh, actually, the roller coaster has a 4th of July themed uh, cart, if you will, in it. So, again, that will be changed probably when patch 1.16 comes out. But anyway, guys, let's talk about the reasoning on when patch 1.16 is going to come out and when the speculation is that all this stuff is going to be removed. So when Rockstar announced that they are going to be removing all the things from GTA 5 Online that I mentioned before, they did not say the actually the date that it's going to be removed. They said this week. But from further investigation and speculation, the estimated date for all the stuff to, is to be removed is going to be 12 a.m. PST Monday, August 4th, 2014. Again, that's 12 a.m. PST Monday, August 4th, 2014. So again, that is a speculation. Again, be sure to buy this stuff ASAP. Again, if you guys want money glitches, be sure to search them up on YouTube. And if again, if you guys want a modded account, be sure to check out my video that I did make about it. Again, it's really, really cheap, and you guys can get yourself unlimited money in GTA 5 Online. Set your own rank, get max stats and all that stuff, and more special different weapons, blacklisted cars, all that stuff will be serviced in that whole thing again be sure to check out that video for more information on that again last thing i want to talk about here is going to be the patch 1.16 release date patch 1.16 is probably going to be either the day after or the day of august 4th 2014 just because they're removing the old stuff they should make a new one again it's the end of the month they should be releasing something new but definitely i think it's gonna be really cool and again i'm really excited to see what is going to be coming soon for gta 5 online again there is a whole bunch of speculation about different dlcs and stuff a lot of them are fake so i don't report on them right away because some youtubers just report them right away and then boom a few days later oh it's fake and then they have to make another video about it they're just making extra work for themselves so before I make a whole speculated DLC video, I do a little bit more research on it to make sure that it's closer to real than it is to fake. Again, that is pretty much all for this video. Again, I have nothing else to cover here. Again, be sure to buy all this stuff ASAP if you guys want it. Again, be sure to go over the video to make sure that you guys have everything planned out for the future. Because again, you will be very upset if you did not buy all stuff. Also, a reminder, be sure to check out the Beer Hat video. It has over 650 views already. Be sure to check that out. Show that some love. And also, if you guys did not get the Beer Hat, be sure to check that out, obviously, because the Beer Hats are also going to be disappearing with the crate drops. Again, 
be sure to check that video out if you guys want a easy method on the way to get a beer hat. It's a limited edition hat that's not available to buy anywhere. You need to participate in the special crate shops, which are still going on, by I believe. And you guys can check out that video to make it easier for you to win the special crate shops and make your favorite type of beer hat to spawn. Again, that is pretty much all for this video. Again, be sure to support this video, dropping a like, it really help it out. And also subscribe for more daily top-notch GTA 5 videos. And that is pretty much all for this video. Thanks guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.